M. Night Shyamalan, our favourite twist master, returns with old. And how does this stack up to his other twisty films? Well, let's find out. Old follows a holiday-making family as they, along with other resort members, go to this secluded beach where they discover that half hour spent on this beach makes you age one year. And they're on a race against time to get off this beach before they inevitably succumb to old age. Now, straight away, I'm going to have to say that Old is going to be one of the Marmite films. The majority of the feedback I've seen from this movie so far has been leaning towards a negative side. For me personally, I did enjoy it. I think it's one of Shyamalan's best, but it's one of those acquired taste kinds of movies because after a while, it hits you that you are just watching people get old and die. And a caveat is that every one of like, the groups in this, each one has at least one member that has some form of illness that gets rapidly advanced during the time on the beach. There's some very gruesome body horror imagery. And at times, it can be difficult to watch. There are genuinely moments in this film where I was just stunned and felt uncomfortable watching if things like body horror make you uncomfortable i would say this will definitely not be your cup of tea one thing about shamla movies is there's always a weird balance with the script whereas the story is very well crafted and leaves enough seed so you always can accept what gets revealed towards the end unfortunately the dialogue side of things does fall short as usual when it comes to Shyamalan. There are some early moments, especially from characters, where people just don't sound like people at all when they speak. There is one particular moment where someone's talking about household incidents, and how 25% of these incidents takes place around coffee tables. It is genuinely confusing, and there are some very wooden exposition scenes. Oh, I'm a doctor. Oh, I am also a nurse, and this is exactly what's wrong with this person. And that whole aspect of character introduction can be quite jumpy. Luckily, once we start getting into full swing with the movie and we're seeing characters age up, for the most part, when these characters have to deliver these deep lines, it does hit on the right notes and there are some solid performances within this. Gail Gracia Bernal and Vicky Krieps play our two leads within this and they both do a solid job. I really enjoyed their chemistry, their dynamic of being this very frictional married couple that are learning as the film goes on. There are a number of actors that play the kids that get older throughout this movie. A couple of standouts for me is Thomas Skin McKenzie and Alex Wolf. They both do good jobs for the limited amount of screen time they get because these kids do age quite rapidly. And for the most part, these characters do remain the same throughout. I will say the aging of the children is a bit inconsistent when it comes to their mental age. When they start aging up, the kids still believe they are their original ages and are quite shocked when it's revealed that they are actually aging up a bit. Later on, these kids start to learn things that you wouldn't really learn just by aging. It's something that you learn by interacting with people and getting to know people. So when they start having these more mature moments, it's very difficult to buy because it's very inconsistent on how these kids age mentally, though they are by far the backbone that carries the narratives with this. Because as these kids get older, you as the adults must be aging just as much. You know, these adults that way you don't see much difference from them physically. You know, they've probably aged 10, 15 years just by watching these kids get older. And there are some really fantastic shocks that portray the actions to this. The film can suffer at times when the characters all agree to stay close together, to get through this together, yet there will always be convenient characters that will wander off and be completely forgotten about by both the film and the cast until the plot says that they have to be remembered and it's usually for a big reveal. It's inconsistent and it can pull the film down quite a bit. It's a very touchy concept that Shyamalan gives us and it's a very interesting concept but the narrative hoops has to jump through to tell this story especially when it comes to character reveals and such can really drag it down. There are some fantastic shots that are complemented by the cinematography 
and the setting around them. It's a gorgeous beach. The shots of the waves is beautiful. And the emotional moments when they come about and they hit, the cinematography really adds to it. The thumbnail for this is an example of some of the really decent cinematography that takes place. And the camera work and movement is very well done at times. Whilst I can rage at the move for conveniently forgetting characters, I do love how you show the camera moving around and showing things take place just instantly. You look away from the cats for two seconds and the camera will pan back and something big and dramatic would have happened. And that I really appreciate it. The film also goes a bit too long, I would say. There's a point where I feel like it should have ended. And while it could have been a bit grim if it ended where it did, I felt like the impact and effect of what we've been witnessing the entire two-hour runtime, the value of the shock goes down the longer the film goes. And unfortunately, there is like a last 10, 15 minutes that doesn't really feel needed. It definitely lessens the impact. And while I did like how it finished up, I felt like we could have got to that point sooner or didn't stretch it out as much as this movie did. There are solid performances and the concept was really good. And I did love just, I wasn't expecting to be so shocked by some of the scenes and imagery that take place. So as an inconsistent script, the cinematography and camera movements and the acting that takes place within this is really what carries this movie and it really maximizes the concept that it presents to us. Before I get into my grave, you like what I do on this channel, consider clicking that like button and subscribing so you never miss any more reviews like this one. Without further ado though, let's get into this grade. So old, like I say, Girl and Be a Marmite movie. There are some solid performances across the board by the vast majority of the cast within this. There is a gorgeous setting that is backed up by some really good cinematography. The camera movements do a great job of portraying how quick things can change at any moment. But unfortunately, there is a bit too much at the end of this. There is some janky dialogue and there are some definite plot conveniences as to how they can't get off the speech through a natural way, how cats will be conveniently forgot about until a revelation or a shocking outcome has to be made. And it's a bit frustrating at times and i feel like these little plot conveniences are what really holds this film back for me as much as i really got impacted by what i was seeing on screen a lot of small gripes really dragged this grade down for me so i was gonna go great cup of tea originally when i stopped to think about the movie i had to admit to myself that there is a lot that really holds this film back so i'm gonna have to say that old for me is a good cup of tea. So old, have you seen it? What is your top three Shyamalan movies? Let me know down in the comments below. Coming up on the channel, I am working on another video essay, so do keep an eye out for that. And we have Suicide Squad that is less than a week away that I absolutely cannot wait to bring to you all. But until next time, my name is Josh, I have been your movie apprentice, and I'll see you in the next video.